Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. I'm Taylor. And we're going to be reacting to Anthony Jeselnik, Funny as Hell. He's been recommended by a lot of people. Um, we just checked out one of his shorter clips, and I'm going to hop right into this one because that last one's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And when John Doerr asked me to be here tonight, I told him to suck my dick. <laughs> and now I'm here. <laughs> uh, this is true. My, uh, my mom actually should have been on one of the planes that crashed on 9-11. I think. <laughs> it's fun to do 9-11 jokes in Canada uh, Way better, way better response But don't think I'm like a bad person I think I'm a bad guy for saying that joke You know, I'm a good guy Like, I would never hit a woman You know, I would never hit a woman Even if she had a knife Or a stutter <laughs> That's just not how I do business in fact, I might be one of the greatest guys of all time. Like, I've got a kid in Africa. Yeah. I've got a kid in Africa that I feed, that I clothe, that I school, that I inoculate for 75 cents a day. <laughs> Which is practically nothing, you know, compared to what it costs to send him there. <laughs> When I, was a, when I was a kid, my friends and I got arrested for vandalizing a graveyard. $10,000 in damages. But we had a great lawyer who knocked it down to criminal trespassing and necrophilia. <laughs> I talk a lot about death. I think it's hilarious. My whole family's like that, kind of. In fact, even well before I was born, my great-grandmother threw herself in front of a bus. Police tried to call it a suicide, but the family knew that she was just trying to stop civil rights. <laughs> That's a good one. And people get weird when kids die. Well, that's a fact. Like about a month ago, some kids in my neighborhood were playing hide-and-go-seek, and one of them ended up in an abandoned refrigerator. It's all anybody talked about for weeks. I said, who cares? How many kids do you know get to die a winner? <laughs> That's so horrible. Oh, man. Yeah, there's some things I just don't understand. Like, I've never understood the foot fetish. Like, are you guys together right here? No. Are you guys together right here? All right, don't be such a bitch about it. <laughs> How long have you been together? Five years, wow. Does he ever suck on your feet? No. Would you if you had a different girlfriend? <laughs> like, so you're like across the board, no feet. That's what I'm like. Like, I once went on a date with a girl. First date, we went hiking. Her idea. And while we're hiking, she gets bit by a snake in between two toes. And I had to suck out the poison. So she's dead. <laughs> my girlfriend now is cool, though. You know, we fight sometimes. Uh, every fight we get into, it's always my fault. I should just keep my mouth shut. But I can't. Because I'm so fucking funny. <laughs> like a couple nights ago, we went to a party and just got hammered. Drunk out of our minds. The next morning, we wake up in bed together. Absolutely hungover. And I know I should just be quiet. But instead... I roll over and I say, listen, baby, don't get mad, but I think your mom tried to have sex with me last night. And she hit the roof. She goes, Anthony, that's impossible. And I said, oh, well, in that case, you should always wear makeup. <laughs> being a comedian is the greatest job in the world greatest job in the world once you get to my level 
The only thing I don't like is all the travel. You know, I'm always flying somewhere, always stuck in an airport. Even flying here into Montreal a couple days ago. Two and a half hour flight delay. I'm stuck in an airport bar, talking to some random asshole. <laughs> and I got nowhere to go, so we start drinking. I say, hey man, what do you do? And he says, and I quote, oh, nothing right now. But I used to be a priest. As in, oh shit. <laughs> but I got nowhere to go. So we keep talking, we keep drinking. Finally, a couple hours go by. The priest gets up, he says, hey man, I don't want to lie to you. You seem like a cool guy with a loose attitude. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tell you straight out, I used to be a priest, I got kicked out because I molested a kid. And then he leaves. Now here's the thing. After talking to this guy and getting to know this guy for two hours, I have to admit, he was actually a really cool guy. You know, like, if you could forget about, you know, all that Jesus bullshit. <laughs> Thank you very much, Montreal. You've been fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's horrible. <laughs> oh shit! That guy was good. I yeah, need more of that guy. Funny. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that Jesus bullshit. <laughs> oh no. Usually people are telling jokes, you can kind of like get someone what the punchline is gonna be, but I can't. Yeah, you keep don't up with him. I don't gonna know gonna where say. he's gonna go with it. Right. Like I don't he just know. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Man. Or like sometimes comedians when they're telling like stories, you kind of see where see kind of like go. where it's going. Like I don't know where yeah. he's gonna end up at when he hits the punchline. It's always just. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! That's funny, man. He's yeah. like he's on the list now. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, he That's funny. hilarious, man. I love that. <laughs> Got to see some more of him. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we really appreciate appreciate you guys um suggesting this. This is hilarious, yeah. man. Uh, give us more comments below. Tell us like what some of the, his um like other really good clips that mm -hmm. you guys can put that we you guys want us to react to with him because he's funny. That's really really good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got anything? No. All right. <laughs> All right, folks. We greatly appreciate it. Please give us a like. Please give us a subscribe. Again, comment below and let us know. We greatly appreciate you guys um recommending this to us. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Later. Bye.